Mike. Uh, this tutorial is about using fast labels. You turn them on right here. Notice I'm already logged in. I'm at my page, and I've got a ton of tags to send out. 40 of them. Fast labels makes this a lot faster. And that's why we call it the fast labels. So to turn it on, you just click the blue button here, uh, which gives you a new button. Print labels now and turn off fast labels. To get to your tags, you click the send tags. Now you guys are gonna have to forgive me. I'm gonna pause here for a moment. I'm blurring out the screen so people don't see the addresses. These are actual trades I really do need to send out. So uh, this is the page with a little bit of blur, but I'm gonna blur the whole section so I can scroll around here pretty easily. But essentially what you do, once your uh, fast labels is on, you can go here to the send tags area, click the button, and then anything in the partner's text or your trade notes, you can highlight it. So if it's an address, you just highlight it, and up pops a window, and that window gives you an opportunity to edit the address. And if you like the address the way it is, you just hit save, and a message pops up to say you now have one package to send. And you just do this all the way down the row. Save. 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 Now one thing, this trade and this trade are both going to the same partner of mine. And what you'll see is that uh, Fast Labels actually groups the trades for you that you have to send to a single address. So that saves you some postage and some packing time too. So uh, I'm not going to do all of these because I've got a ton of them, but you get the picture. As you go through them, uh, the things update and tell you how many packages you need to send out. And when you're ready, you can click print labels now. And we offer you the chance to do labels or to do envelopes. Uh, labels, we only support the Avery 5160, which uh, I think they're the 30 up labels. You can buy them at Office Max or whatever, relatively cheap. And uh, the other thing you can do is you can tell it which label to start at. So if you've used part of a sheet, you can tell it which label to start at and it'll continue using the sheet from that point. So you can use this tool to send out a ton of tags or sometimes even just one or two. Uh, but I want to print label, uh, envelopes and I use the six and three quarter size envelopes. Those are the short stubby ones. And here you just type in your return address. And I always put USA because you may be doing trades to people who are outside of the USA. You hit create PDF now and you get this message up here that your label is created and it's ready for download. If you click here, uh, if you're set up for tab browsing like I am, it opens it in another window. And what you get is a PDF with your return address, with the person's address, and a little preview if you're doing envelopes down the lower right hand corner of the tag or tags you need to send. Uh, and if you go down through these here, you can actually see now this one. One person, I'm sending them these three tags. One tag to this person, one tag to this person. Um, I print in black and white, and I'm happy with the little previews. I can tell the difference between my tags pretty well, even in black and white. Uh, but you can print in color if you want to. But this makes sending tags a whole lot easier. The thing is, when you're done, you still have to come in and click Mark as Sent. Uh, it doesn't automatically mark them as sent, it's just a tool to help you get your envelopes ready to go out the door. And of course you still have to sit and pack them as usual, but uh, for me, addressing the envelopes is a major time, uh, major part of the time of getting my trays ready to go out the door. So hopefully this video tutorial helped, and uh, if not, post in the forums and other people can help you learn more about it. Thanks guys, bye.